Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we just leveled up on Cordite as well, so I'm gonna throw him some uh, some speed, I think. And skill-wise, with him, what we're doing is going into Kiss Ass. So he is next level. Actually, not even. We're gonna need two levels to get Max Kiss Ass here. I have no other ways of improving his uh, Kiss Ass, but his brawling is max. So brawling attacks cost minus one AP now. That's gonna be really good. And we just got him new uh, power gauntlets as well. So, yeah, it should be pretty nice, I think. Let's go. Now, we just uh, drew the line in the sand, as it were, and uh, sided with our good buddy, <laughs> our ironclad Cordite. And I guess that's to try to make sure that he takes control of this army. But it, he did say we're going to have to, like, challenge the head guy to some type of duel. Someone stacked several wrecked cars and topped it with a torch. Party on Wayne. Nice little Wayne's World reference there. I like that. Slaves. Lucky scrap. I'll take it. We have a door here with slaves. slaves? That, that's awful. We can lockpick this for 10. Where is this going? Scar Collector Mine. Godfisher Wind Farm. Oh, this is this area is gonna be very strange. Should I just let these guys out? That's gonna piss people off. Let's do it. <laughs> the door's open. We're. Yeah, fuck it. What? They'll just catch us like always. Are you serious? They won't even leave. I'm the new overseers. Not that I know of. Who are these people? Not yet skin, Patsy, Whetstone. Slave turns around the sound of your footsteps. You see these blinds. Blinds are almost ready, masters. I just need your, not the masters, to clean smelling. Who are you? We're the Rangers here to take down the gangs. Who are you? Uh, let's say we're here with Cordite, actually. Who are you? <gasps> Master Cordite. Ooh. Is that you? It's me. Knock, knock. I was boss slave at the company store when you were here. Cool. I, I lost my eyes. They remember him. Now I make blades for the masters. You were there the night Steel Trap drugged me and sold me off. I was. I <sighs> Whoa. saw it all. That's why I lost my eyes. Steel Trap said I should stop seeing things that's crazy don't worry i will avenge you hope you'll take steel trap down a peg damn shame to be a slave to a man like that we buy any of your blades not supposed to but steel trap says i'm only supposed to sell to the scar collectors <laughs> loophole but you're with cordite so why not all right, just keep an eye out while you're looking. <laughs> All right, let's see if any of these are better. We just got a power gauntlet, so that's fine. Um, no, Patriarch's prototype hammer, still better. This one, I wonder if the hydraulic hammer could be... We'd have update supply that would make it better. It's more penetration, but almost no crit chance. Um, yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't think it's worth selling stuff to buy. That's for sure. You can maybe grab a um, fiberglass grip and counterforce weight. We sell our junk. Yeah, we can. Wait, what? Where did... What? Did we... Were, <laughs> were these here before or am I just tripping out and I didn't see like all this power armor? Or is eight strength? Man, maybe that's where I should be putting like extra points right now. Plasma grenade, significant energy damage. So expensive. His EMP seemed quite nice though. Hmm.
All right. I think we're good. We'll come back. You think you've got it? Ha. They call me Stitches. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. You need some stitching? You pass for a doctor? What do you charge? If you're in one of the gangs, it's free. <laughs> That's what being a slave is all about. But slaves and outsiders gotta pay. Okay, so presumably, uh, presumably when Cordite, if we can get him in charge, then this is probably free. Why do you heal people Duh, who enslave because you? Because they'll kill me if I don't. You got a head wound or something? No, I'm clear. What do you mean you pass for a doctor? I uh, was an assistant to a doctor. I watched her cut a lot of legs off, so I know what I'm doing. Mostly. All right. Sure. Come back if you're bleeding. Feel sick. Just a back room, nothing crazy. Some total of the slaves' belongings. Somebody coming. Who are you? Never mind. We never do. We're not allowed to. So there's got to be something going on with these guys, right? Uh, we'll come back to this. Ooh, a gold hunk. Damn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, level 10 toaster. What? This workbench is arrayed with every tool you could ever need to break down dead synths and robots and build new tech from the spoils. This is this guy. Uh, he was at our base at one point, I think. Man. This toaster repair. So we can get to level 9. Uh, but we did use a toaster repair book a long time ago before I was putting any importance into the toasters. So slight, slight regrets. Let's see what this guy has to say. The goddamn rangers. The fuck you doing out here? Listen, uh, none of your fucking business, wolf. Talking tough because you have ironclad cordite with you. Ha, he's yesterday's news around here. We'll see about Steel that. Steel traps the boss now. I ain't in love with the way the scar collectors jam tech into their bodies. But they pay us well for each synth we kill and strip for parts. Unlike you bot coddlers. Listen, you do your work, we'll do ours. Still haven't grown a backbone, huh? Get gone. Okay, let's go see if we can challenge this guy. Because if, if we can throw some muscle around, then we might come out ahead. This feels like a bad spot to be. Evasion plus 10. This is for leg armor. We've got a bunch of these. I forgot to be checking our leg armor. This is reducing hit chance a bit. I think it's worth it. She already has some. Oh, I hear something big out here. Okay. Like something big and grunty. Yuma County Speedway Race. Helmet armor mod. Flamethrower fuel. Ooh, you can smell the burning rubber here at Yuma County Speedway as we head into the final laps of the Cactus Cup. It's been neck and neck this afternoon as Allison Rodriguez and Daryl Stone have led the pack. But now Sammy Martinez is coming up on the high side trying to pass Stone. Coming into the straightaway, Rodriguez has the lead. Stone switches to the inside. Here comes Rodriguez. We've got a three-way fight for the lead. This is going to be... Whoa! Stone's hit Rodriguez. Martinez can't get out of the way. And, and now he's hit Stone. Stone and Martinez are locked together and both cars are on fire. We've got a red flag and emergency crews are trying to reach the cars. Oh, man, this looks bad. <laughs> Ooh, arena helmet. Oh, my God. We are in an arena. Extra damage. Extra armor.
Wasn't that for a helmet that we just got there? Weapons. Oh, no, my bad. I'm dumb. It was uh, this one for the weapons. Plus eight versus plus two. That's fine. I do not feel good about this at all. It seems to be empty, though. Famous last words. Plus eight damage there. Let's see what she's got. She's not gonna have anything on it. Cone angle on that shotgun. Take that. And she can take the extra damage on the man cannon. EMP grenades. We're just getting EMP grenades thrown at us right now. Don't worry about the guards. You're with me. I yeah. most certainly am not. <laughs> this is actually like having them two together. Look at Erastus Dorsey. Godfishers. Holy crap, man. This is intimidating. Kakor died? With the Desert Rangers? Oh, now, damn it. This ain't fair. What are you blubbering about now, Dorsey? I swore vengeance upon <laughs> these Rangers. They killed my brother. But if they're with you... The Rangers and I have an agreement. Until it's concluded, they're under my protection. Afterwards, do what you want. Now open the gate. Fine. I just He's hope right. You get to concluding sooner rather than later. He has some I'll serious throw here. It's really, it's fascinating that he still carries that much weight because that's not always the case when people get overthrown. Godfisher Watchers. Let's just check up top here. Hey! Hands off! Alright, fine. How do you keep an idiota in suspense? Oh, their clown car. How? I'll tell you in a minute. Oh, come on! Tell me now! Dino toy. Keep up menacing just like the payasos. Argon clown. Godfisher's gotta go fly a kite. You know what I'm saying? Like off a cliff. Lecherito? Welcome to Bargain Clown. <laughs> Our prices are a joke. Yeah, let's hope so. What can I do for you? You pay asso? You asking if I'm a clown, Pandeo? Like I'm here to amuse you? Make you laugh? Is that what you're asking? Yes. Well, the joke's on you, Mamones. When you're a payaso, everybody else is a clown. And you jokers got me beat by a mile. <laughs> uh, you're not going to shoot us? Only if it's funny. That's good. Is this really a store? Actually, it's a baby's arm holding an apple. What? The okay. What are you selling? Funny you should ask. Okay, he's got a bunch of clown stuff for the vehicle. Clown outfits. Definitely got to buy that. Cyber Fist Utility. Requires Cyborg Tech. 10% melee damage. That's not bad. He's got the thing right now where it's uh, downtime. It's pretty good. Uh, he does have a lot of deployables here. Man. Um, maybe we should buy some of these. Laser turrets. Well, there's an ice spike that inflicts frozen and slowed on enemies in a radius around us last three turns. I'm going to buy these. Mm. 
Instant Disco Bot. We could try the uh, the Ice Spike. Maybe we should take the Cyber Fist. I don't know. 10% damage is not bad if he crits. Like, he's hitting for what, like 150-ish? So, I don't know. Maybe that's not that good. Uh, we could take these decoys. All right. I think that's good. I presume they're not going to want us to go in here. Well, if it isn't last year's model and his gang of nobodies. Howdy, Cordite. You here to kiss my ass and ask me to switch sides? Well, you're going to have to get that tongue in deep, you hear me? <laughs> Because Los Payasos don't Gross. side with losers, yeah? Love it. And you're the biggest loser in Colorado. Holy. Like everything clown. King of the scar collectors. Kickbacks from Padre Patriarch. The respect of the Eastern Plains. And now look at you. Crawling to poor old Lecherito. Who you never even gave the time of day back when you were riding high. Well, fuck you, big man. Fuck you with Steel Trap's that... rusty-ass roto dick. That's ballsy. You threw. Shit, I ain't even getting warmed up, but it can wait. I can drag you coming or going. You got something to say, say it. I'd love to hear a grown man beg. Just getting the lay of the land, figuring out who the winners and losers are around here. Come to introduce ourselves. And second thought, never mind. Yeah. Came by to introduce ourselves. Payasos have quite a reputation in Colorado. Damn right we do. And we don't need no kiss asses telling us what we already know. But thanks for the dick suck all the same. <laughs> Get out of here. Wow. Anda kagar, chingazos. What the? Wait for the day when I can finally break his neck. Oh yeah, no touchy. Okay, yeah, he called us right away. Hey, it's old news again. What do you want now? It's what I thought. Get out of here, pendejos, and take that broken down has been with you. A so lot of this. Never was. I imagine a lot of this has to change if we can put him in power, right? That's. I think we should just focus on that straight up. However, we need to try and do that because I don't have a clue where we should be going. Gang compound, demolition derby area. Pathetic fanatics. Oh, gods of sky and storm. Hear my prayers. She has a name. Star that dreams. Who are you? How dare you disturb my meditations? <laughs> Sorry, just exploring. Go away. All right. Lockpick level 10. This must be where she is. Holy smokes. Jesus, that's Kordat. Yeah, it is. Beta Master. Steel Trap. <laughs> oh my god. We should lead with him. Is that you, Kordat? Surprised you ain't ashamed to show your face around here after what you done. I fell for the old man's bullshit. I admit that, and you had the right to call me on it. But not by selling me into slavery. You should have called me out. Demanded a trial by demolition. Just like I'm calling you out now. You want to go? I'm gassed up and ready. Let's get it on. Whoa, you we're see, just throwing down? Collectors, this is what happens when you let a coward lead you. Our tradition says we give a man time to prepare his ride before a duel. But that would make it a fair fight. And cowards don't want that, do they? All right, all right. I'll give you your time, asshole. But tradition also says no one hangs with us without a test. No exceptions. So if you and your shiny new friends want in, somebody's got to play our little game. Hell yeah. Uh, 
What's the game? Simple. We scar collectors are about two things. Taking slaves and rebuilding ourselves better and stronger. If you want to hang with us, you got to either prove you got what it takes to be a slaver or you're committed enough to mod your bod. Well, Costello's modded. Behind me to my left is the punishment cage where bad slaves go to die eventually. Now to my right is the suture self insta surgery kiosk to pass the test. One of you've got to either kill the slave in the cage or step into the kiosk and <laughs> see so, what happens. That's going to be, that could be very bad. Yeah, our, our squad's already got cyborg. Oh, that is so sick. What? <laughs> sick. Well, damn, you are the right kind of crazy. All right, Cordy. You can hang here until you're ready. But if I find out you're fixing anything except your car, the demolition is off and the massacre is on. Deal? Deal. Good. So we're I'm having a when you're ready. We're having a car battle to determine Rangers. this? Let's talk. Outside. Grill saws, actuators, scalpels, stained with blood Never cover this workbench. Witnessed a more despicable act. How could you? Lucia, you need to chill. You need to chill. Right. Now we get ready to fight Steel Trap in the Murder Dome. Biggest problem will be that Steel Trap won't fight fair. He'll have the Piasos and the Godfishers attack me from the outside. Like oh. The he is. So we've either got to turn him to our side or get rid of him. <laughs> what? What do you want to do about the payasos? Lecherito is the sort of clown who tell you he was on your side. Then screw you in the end for a joke. The only way he'd switch sides for real is if he thought Steel Trap disrespected him. Okay. Or was laughing at him behind his back. I know for a fact that Steel Trap thinks Lecherito is a sniveling little wannabe. The whole camp knows it. What we gotta do is prove it to Letorito. And what about the Godfishers? I wouldn't want them if I could have them. Too crazy. If their gods tell them to follow a jackrabbit through a minefield, they'll up and follow it, even in the middle of a battle. I'd rather find a way to make them leave the okay. camp without a fight. Can't afford the casualties right now. So he wants to convert the Payasos to our side, and he wants the... Uh, the Godfishers to leave without a fight. Any suggestions for how to make this happen? We should go to the slave camp. Nice. Slaves nice, nice, nice. What's really going on, and they have no loyalty. That's probably those two name people that we tried to talk to. Tell us everything. You lead, I'll follow. For now. Demolition Derby against Steel Trap. So cool. All right. To the slave camp. What do a duck and a trap? What do you call a cheap circumcision? <laughs> uh, what? A rip off. <laughs> Get it? I hope not. Gather dirt on steel trap around Yuma County Speedway. Slaves and followers live down here. Feel free to pay them a visit anytime. Yeah, see Patsy here and not yet skinned. Let's just wait for everyone. They're back, whoever they are. What do you want now? Listen, uh, it's Godfishers. Oh, I don't know who they work for. Do you work for the Godfishers? I don't. He does. And I'm seeking new employment. Don't know one day to the next if I still have my arms and legs when I wake up in the morning. Their leader, Star the Dreams, decides if he's going to sacrifice somebody by talking to the clouds. And his followers believe every word that comes out of his mouth. We saw Star the Dreams over there. He told them that everybody else's heads were full of candy. They'd start digging our eyes out looking for gum drops. Yikes. Um, crazy that that could end the truce between the gangs. Maybe better if they went. Or wonder if there's a way to get rid of them without having to fight them. There sure is. Kill Star the Dreams. Oh, 
No, 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 that wouldn't work. I mean, they might leave, but they go yeah. berserk first and cut all our throats. The best way would be to get his number one wife to tell him it was time to go. A haloed moon. Oh, okay, we talked to her too. The dreams thinks she's an oracle or something. He believes her sky readings like his followers believe him about everything else. Except lately, Liberty Buchanan's been whispering in his other ear, telling him about the sacrificial victims waiting for him in Colorado Springs. So he hasn't been listening to Halo Moon as much. Still, if anyone could convince him to run, yeah, so she's the sunset, our target. It would be her. Can you tell us more about Halo Moon? She's a true believer. Thinks the sun shines at a star that dreams ass. Loves him too, like a wife, like a mother. Cleans up after him, keeps mm. away all the fortune hunters and fake mystics who follow him around. Only one she hasn't stopped is Liberty. STD like Star power. of the Dreams. And Liberty's got plenty. He's put Haloed Moon on the back burner, waiting for Liberty to hand him half of Colorado for kite meat. What else do you know about uh, Star of the Dreams? Punk ass pretty boy. True enough. Got all the women in the camp just jumping out of their pants. But he's more than that. He thinks he's destined to lure the godfisher gods down to Earth and bring about, a, I, I don't know, some big thunderstorm apocalypse thingy. Whatever it is, when it happens, he's going to end up on top. And all the rest of us are going to be food for the gods. Mm. So the god whispers worship the sky. I don't pretend to understand even half of it, but apparently their ancestors lived underground for generations and it was a really bad time. Then one day, some guy found a way to the surface and was totally blown away by clouds and rain and, well, weather in general. Fucking nut jobs. I <laughs> know, right? Anyway, this guy goes back down carrying a bucket of water and tells everyone the gods live in the ocean of the sky and all you have to do is pray to them and get rain anytime you want it. How they go from that to hanging people's torsos from skin kites, yeah, that's I a don't leap. Know. But supposedly, that's how it all started. Where can we find Haloed Moon? We already we know, but... You're not actually going to talk to her, right? I mean... I I thought we were just bullshit. No, I'm definitely going. She hangs around on a little platform in the Godfisher's garage. Says she's meditating. Complete weirdo. God damn it, you asshole. If the Godfishers leave, they'll take me with them. I don't want that. You said you wanted to quit them, right? So if they go, stay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like... I guess. Yeah, I guess. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah. Just don't ruin my life, okay? Uh, I will try not to. But no promises. Okay. Uh, steel trap. Let's go here with gods are spoken. Cordite thinks there's no way the fanatical godfishers to his side. So the only option is convincing them to leave altogether. We should talk to some godfishers that are slaves get ideas now to accomplish this. A former godfisher told us that Star the Dream's wife, Haloed Moon, doesn't like her cult's alliance with Liberty. Maybe she could help us convince her husband to leave. Okay. Let's try it. No outsiders. All you are, do not, do not speak to us. Not interested in speaking to you. You disturb me again? Leave me be. Listen, uh... You know Cordite, right? We're his crew. I suppose I know him. One wild dog looks much like another. Do they? You're a Cordite? Hmm. What do you want? Maybe your gods have sent us to save Star of the Dreams from the mess that Liberty Buchanan's making. Not gonna lie to you, it would suit our plans if Star of the Dreams left Liberty's alliance. Maybe you want that too. Hmm. Let's be honest here. More backstabbers. This camp is full of them. I trust none of you. Hmm. 
back we want to stab is steel traps and that'll be a whole lot easier if the godfishers walk guess you'll never get that star that dreams out of this mess oh well just a moment <laughs> I nice have snapped at you. tell me what you have in mind how will you convince star that dreams to leave the alliance well he'd believe a sign from the gods right maybe we could arrange one hmm. Interesting. oh sick i have been thinking the same only an omen will convince star that dreams to leave this camp and i have known for many weeks what that omen should be i have just not found the courage to follow through perhaps your rude interruption is a sign that i must act okay so what's your plan Near the wind farm where we fly our kites is an old ice cream truck. Meet me there. But you must promise not to tell Star that dreams of this. He must see my omen as a miracle. Ooh. And not a suicide. A suicide? Whoa, what kind of omen are we talking about? Wait, wait, wait. Where's the, where's the wind farm? There is a grove of old windmills on top of a mesa. Where the wind never stops. We have made it a sacred space. A place of sacrifice. My worry is that if she does that and she's gone, then he'll just fully commit to like the liberty side. What kind of omen are we talking about? I have taught Star the Dreams how to read the signs the sky sends us when he finds my body. Jesus. Hanging from a kite, flying from the Alaska surprise truck. He will see it as a clear message to go north. Which is what I have been begging him to do since we came to this Congress of Snakes. So... Couldn't you hang somebody else from the ice cream truck? And you could be with him still? The gods do not deal in half measures. An wow. omen must be great and terrible to be believed. The loss of a nobody would mean little to Star that dreams. The loss of his truest love. That would move him. That is the only thing that would move him. I mean, it's your idea. I love my husband more than living. And to help him achieve his destiny, I would kill myself a thousand times over. He is the chosen of the gods who will lead my people to their promised land and make them lords. Okay, we're going to meet you. How do we find this ice cream truck? Head toward the mechanic's garage, then take the track around past it. You will soon see the path to the wind farm. Follow it past the Bayaso outpost, and you will find the ice cream truck. Stay away from the godfishers at the wind. Ooh, the sketch. Okay, mechanics garage track. Soon see the path towards the wind farm. Follow it past the Payaso outpost, and you'll find the ice cream truck. Before my courage fails me. Okay. I'm not going to waste any time on that. No outside. We're going. Do not speak to us. So Here, down here. Goldfisher Wind Farm. This is cool, man. God, this game is like... I don't know if I could play it anything better. Oh, do we take the stag back? Yeah, I think so. The sneak attack damage we're not benefiting from. See you, little buddy. The stag was sick, though. 
Boom, rack attack, melee damage, hell yeah. And it's got tons of HP. Okay, not bad. <laughs> it's not as much as I thought. It's the bear that gave us, like, the most, I think. It's still good. The melee damage is nice. Okay. Hangry the Clown. Hey, strangers, over here! Ah, uh, maybe you Mamons can help us out. You see, the Godfishers were traveling this way with some fresh kite-making materials. But they ran into some giant bisons, and they kind of got them trapped. We don't give a wet fart about the Godfishers. Oh, but they're poor slaves. Their plight has touched our hearts. Oh, shit. To, um, liberate them. If you take care of the bison, we'll grab the meat stickers. Uh, victims. And our boss, Risky Brisket, will give you something cool for your trouble, huh? She's down at Meat Clown, near the Godfisher Shrine. Why aren't you doing this? Who, me? No, Jingas. No, oh, I mean, bison give me hives. Oh, it's yeah, allergies. Problem. Got it. What's re what are you really going to do with these slaves? Nothing. We promise. We're going to have them over for dinner and then say adios. There's no way. We'll check it out, but... Thanks, Mamones. If he wants our help getting his property back, we better be well paid. Yeah. Uh, let's take a Meat's look at this. Back on the menu, cabron. We'll eat like kings. I just feel like these guys are screwed, but they're screwed either way is the problem. Oh God. I want to check this. Vince started the dreams to leave. We'll fly her from a kite above a wrecked ice cream truck. She says that this will be understood as important by the other godfishers, not to mention anything that started the dreams, but we'll have to decide how to proceed. We haven't even talked to him, so I think we're just going to leave it that way. Man, I'm getting hungry. Uh, you know what? Let's switch her weapon here. Man, I'm getting hungry. When are we getting the grill going? Simmer the frick down. Man, this is gonna be sketchy. I'm gonna see if I can tame one. And by tame, I mean control. Oh, really? It missed? So I don't even know if it was like... Mm. There's poison, at least. He's probably gonna get one shot, if I had to guess. Big chance for extra damage here. Not bad. No, we want to switch this. My bad. We switched the wrong one. Now we probably have no ammo in both. <laughs> Frick! Let's just get reloads. Oh, uh, we need three to reload this. Four. Yikes. We'll come in here. Yeah, not bad. She's got a lot of lucky ones there. I think we're going to take one down. So now, his attacks cost one, a cost one AP. Because this is at two. And then he's got, uh, what, level 10 brawler perk, right? Yeah, whoa. That's... Okay, so that's the other benefit here. 
and he can stack these combos so quickly. Seventy percent crit chance. God, freaking damn it! He's gonna probably. Oh, he doesn't one shot even. Oh, that's not bad. That's not so bad. Hey, toaster, man. Impressive. Hit him hard. Whoops. Let's see this again. So it's not a ton of damage, but it bounces. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. Take those slaves down to meat clown and fatten them up. Oh, I give them a good meal. I mean, <sighs> you're gonna piss them off even more, but it doesn't matter because the other guy we're trying to convince, based on the fact that, um, that uh, the current leader Steel Trap like doesn't like him or something. Hey. We tell the jokes around here, Pendeos. And if you ain't joking, then you're dead. The payasos don't stand for no funny business. These guys Capende. might now fight us too. Ooh, we're not joking. Here we go. And what we'll do to you if you don't walk away from this won't be funny either. Comprende? Fine, Pendeos. But you ain't getting what we promised. Whatever. Probably wasn't worth it anyways. Here, let's see if these guys are okay. Observation tower. Bike wheels, mufflers, and unrecognizable metal scrap have been warped and folded to build this strange observation tower. Thanks again for saving us, strangers. We'll make a run for it soon. Yeah, you do that. I don't know if that's going to come back to bite us somehow. It's very possible. Godfish or kiting ritual. Woe unto mankind who set the skies aflame and filled the heavens with ash. For darkness has fallen on the broken earth, and the lords of the heavens have turned their faces from us. Thus we must appease them with offerings, blood, and flesh, and bone. Strike off their limbs and bind their torsos to the kites, as has always been our way. Now, cast your sacrifices into the skies, brothers and sisters, and verily, the clouds shall part, and the earth will be born again! Yeah, okay, that's normal. Let's go. 